In this demo, I will show how uh, you can use the new Kafka connector operator, which is part of Stream Z016, and uh, I will use it to deploy the camel based Kafka connectors, which is uh, a very interesting uh, project. So I have already my Kafka cluster up and running here. Uh, so that's of course with Streamzy running in OpenShift uh, 4 in AWS. And now uh, what I need to do next is deploy my Kafka Connect. And uh, in the YAML file for deploying the Kafka Connect, I have first some uh, topics which I will use later. I have a Kafka user with some ACLs which uh, the Kafka Connect will use. And now uh, the most interesting part here is the Kafka Connect custom resource itself. So first of all, you should notice this annotation, streamzio slash use connector resources. That's how you currently tell the Streamzy operator that uh, it should use the new uh, uh, Kafka connector resources and it should manage the connectors for you. So this is basically how you tell the operator whether you want to use the operator model to manage the connectors or whether you will manage them yourself through the REST API. And then I also specify here uh, the image, which is uh, my special build image, uh, which includes the Apache Camel based Kafka connectors. If you don't know Apache Camel, that's uh, an amazing integration framework with uh, a lot of different uh, connectors and support for enterprise integration patterns and so on. So uh, a lot of great stuff. And now uh, this uh, project it's trying to build uh, or it's building uh, uh, Kafka Connect connectors based on the Apache Camel to be able to use all the connectors and so on which are available there. Another thing to notice is because I will be using uh, the Camel connectors to integrate with external systems. I also mounted here two secrets with Telegram and AWS credentials so that I don't have to type them manually in uh, the connector configurations and so that you don't see my API keys and so on. And to be able to use them, I'm also configuring here the file config provider, which will let me reference these uh, mounted secrets from the connector configuration. So uh, let's uh, create this. And uh, it will take some time to uh, uh, start the Kafka Connect and load the plugins uh, and get it ready and so on. So uh, in the meantime, we can have a look at the first uh, Kafka connector. And the first one I will be using is the uh, Telegram connector. Uh, it's uh, source connector so i will be reading messages from the telegram instant messaging platform into uh, kafka topic so i'm using here this uh, camel source connector class class and i specify regular key and value converters as a string converters then i tell it uh, into which topic i want to receive these messages uh, in my case it's a telegram dash topic which is one of the topics i created earlier then uh, here is the URL which Camel is using uh, to configure the connectors. In my case, there are no other options here, but if you would want to add some options, you can just add them there as with the usual URL. And then uh, finally here I have additional configuration option where I specify the API token for connecting to Telegram. But in this case, uh, I don't flip type the token here directly because that would not be exactly secure. Instead, I basically tell the file config provider to load the API keys uh, from uh, this file, which I mounted from one of the secrets. So before we actually load this, uh, let's check if the Kafka Connect is running. Uh, so we can see that it's running. One of the other things which we improved uh, is that the status of the Kafka Connect resource now contains a list of the connector plugins which are available there. So you can have a look here and uh, 
you will be able to see which connectors are uh, in the image because that tells you which connectors you can actually use. And you can see here is the comma sync and comma source connectors, then the default file stream sync file stream source connectors, and there's also the new Mirror Maker 2, which is uh, also based on Kafka Connect, so uh, that's the free connectors used by Mirror Maker 2. So now when the connect is ready, we can apply the Telegram connector and uh, we can again check the status of it to see if it's running uh, connector running task running that's great so that should be available so uh, now let's do two things so uh, Let's uh, start a pod in my OpenShift cluster where we start uh, Kafka console consumer so that we can see if the connector is actually loading some messages from Telegram. And that will probably need a minute to start to download the container and so on. Which is always fun. So that should be now running. So let's switch now to my UI. Here is the Telegram web UI and let's try some hello world message. And we should see it here. So we can see it's actually the start message which was sent when I opened the chat window and here is the hello world message. And uh, when I go back there and type Ahoy Svete, then I get uh, this as well. So that's great. The uh, Telegram source connector is working and uh, we are now getting the messages into our Kafka topic. And uh, so that was a source connector example. And uh, you might want to process the messages and so on, but ultimately sooner or later you might want to push them somewhere out. So let's show a sync connector example. And uh, I have here uh, another connector. This time it's a uh, common sync connector, which is uh, using Amazon AWS SQS uh, simple queue service. And it will just take the Telegram messages which we received and push them into the into the Amazon SQS service. So uh, again, the URL is fairly simple and uh, uh, I need to specify the API keys for AWS, which again, I use the secret. So uh, let's create the connector. Let's check again uh, the status. Running, running, that's great. So uh, here I have my uh, queue in the SQS. And uh, when I check the messages, I can see that I already have the messages here, which uh, I sent before. So you can see the start message, Ahoy Sveta message and hello world message which are the free messages uh, which we saw before. And of course, when I go here and uh, send another message, then uh, this will be received here as well. So uh, that's working super fine as well. And uh, so that's simple sync and source connector. I wanted to show one more thing and that's uh, how important the key and value converters might be and what might happen if you don't use the right one. So for that, I have here uh, another connector. And this time it's a source connector for Amazon AWS S3, which will read files from S3 bucket and push them into the topic. So uh, let's create the 
connector. Let's once again uh, check the status. Uh, running unassigned. I, it sometimes takes a minute to get assigned. Well, it will get assigned sooner or later. So uh, let's uh, again start a consumer. This time I will use a topic called uh, S3 topic. And once that, once that is running, uh, we will upload a simple file uh, into the bucket in AWS, which I have already created here. So uh, it's really just a simple text file. And upload. So that's uploaded. We should see that the connector already loaded it and deleted it. We switch back here and we can see all we got here is this uh, stupid Java class and object ID. Huh, that's not really what we wanted, right? So uh, what it did here is uh, we used the string converters and obviously all it did, it did object to Java object to string method, which wasn't properly or didn't really wasn't implemented in any other way than returning the class and the ID. So that wasn't really helpful. So what can we do about it? And we can actually change the value converter to a converter which was specifically written uh, to convert the S3 object. So uh, that's uh, this converter which is shipped together with the camel kafka connectors let's save it uh, let's check if it was refreshed it says observe generation 2 so hopefully it should be in there so let's start the consumer again and now I'm going to upload uh, another file. Okay, again, it was immediately eaten by the connector. And we can see before we got this ugly thing. Now we got the actual text, which was the, pale, the content of the file. So the second sample file for S3 upload. So that's how the converters are important uh, to get the right value in your Kafka messages and not just some uh, Java class name or object identification or whatever it is. And that's it for today's uh, demo video. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.